this is a social networks video. Um, today I thought I'd show you Meet Jitsi. This is a very useful tool on the internet used for video conferencing, ideal for teaching, online teaching or just general meetings. So I thought I'd show you how to use it. So let's get started. So we go to the Google search and we put Gypsy and it should come up on the search. So we go to the link here. OK, so basically this is your front screen that you will come to when you put Jitsu.org. Um, basically, this is a non-registering, fully encrypted video conference software tool on the Internet that teachers, students can use to talk to each other in groups. Ideally, I would recommend no more than 10 people. It is quite difficult to manage and you have to be quite disciplined because obviously one person, like in a normal conversation, one speaking at a time, um, you have to do the same thing in online because you can only hear one person at a time with the micro microphone in use. So we press on this tab, see it in action, start a meeting. Then we will go put our cursor here and we call the meeting a name. So I'm going to, for next week, um, do a speaking conference for speaking English. So let's put um, speaking English. That's my meeting name. So when we go to go. Right, so we press go and you're going to come up with a screen and you're going to see me in a minute. Right, but I don't want the camera on. So we go down to the middle on the right hand side, this white icon down below, which is here. And if we press on it, it says start, stop camera. Let's press stop. Right. OK, now it's off. OK, so firstly, what I want to do is I want to change the settings because I don't want this bottom tab to be showing because I can't see my icons properly. So to do that, we go on the right hand side to more actions and we go to the dot and we just press the left button as normal and you'll see all the options and we go to view full screen. Now that and then we click away from that to, to stop. OK. Now you'll see the full screen with all the three icons in the middle. There should be three on the left and three on the right. So I'm going to take you through each one. So in the middle, we have, as I said, start, stop uh, the camera. In the middle is to leave a call. OK. And then on the left side, this is to mute or turn off the microphone unmute is to turn on the microphone on the left with the first one we have access to a chat so if we open by pressing this button we can do texting like whatsapp texting and they also have uh, emoticons also you choose a nickname for your chat and then you start talking you can call it speaking english so you can put that in and press enter and it will come up here at the top. OK, you can close that again by pressing it again. Then we have a hand button, which is to raise your hand. If I press it, it will appear in the top right corner showing that I want to speak about something in the meeting. So that will advise the, the host who wants to speak. Right, going back down again, so we can turn that off, so I just switch it off again. So that's lowering the hand, like in the classroom. OK, on the left side, this is a TV screen icon to share your screen. So if you want to show an exercise or uh, some text or a picture on your screen, you can share your screen to your other members of your meeting 
to show them exactly what you're seeing. Um, so, and then another thing. So to start the meeting, we need to go down to the information icon. This now shares the link as an email. We press copy here. You can also add a password just in case um, other people accidentally go on to your meeting. Um, you can add a password to restrict, obviously, other members coming on. When you've received the link from here on your email, you'll actually go into your email address that they have. And there's a link in the email with Meet Jitsi. So you just press on the link and it'll automatically take to you take you to this screen and this is where you will actually participate in the meeting. So this one is toggle the viewer. So basically you can toggle whoever you're actually speaking to in the meeting. You can actually make their little um little picture you can actually make it bigger so it covers the whole screen so you can actually see them a lot better and talk to them more directly like a normal conversation okay other features on the on the three dots more actions you can click on it and there's many options you can manage the quality of your video on this icon you can exit the full screen so it goes back to normal. So this is the, the, the link I was just talking to you about. You can highlight and copy and paste that into an email. You can see that better. OK, um, let's go back on the icons. Right. Start a live stream. So basically the camera will go on and you're actually recording like a video like I am now on my phone. But this will do it on the computer. Then, so start recording, so that, that goes together with the live stream, and it will be accessible on the internet. Okay, share a YouTube video, so you put a link. Blur my background. Blurring my background means to make the background behind you invisible, not, not exactly invisible, but the colours are blended together so you cannot make out a certain object or an image. Um, if you've got something you don't want to show on the screen behind you, then this is an idle button, blur my background. To mute everybody, that's say, say you want to leave the screen to go to the loo or something, you just press this and this mutes everything. Speaker stats, this is for testing that your speaker works properly. And you can also do a view shortcut. So let's have a look. So view shortcuts. So you've got keyboard shortcuts for each of the um, instructions that we did, for, had, which we actually had for icons at the bottom of the screen, like this one, start or stop the camera. You can actually just press V. Open and close your chat, press C. Manage your quality of your camera, A. Raise your hand, R. You can actually look these up by just going on the three dots on the right hand side. Push to talk, space. Show your speaker stats, T. Focus on your video, zero. Focus on another person's video is one to nine. So you can just pick the the camera number or the picture of your um, student that they're on, they will be numbered, each student, and you just pick the number you want to enlarge their screen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe and like, and please, please feel free to write some comments or suggestions uh, for some more videos. Bye for now.